Hi, today we have shot glasses. This one is already done. But I'm going to do this one. This is a clear. This one is frosted. I did it off camera. I wasn't thinking about showing no one. But then I thought about it like people want to want to see this. Um, we, this is our new mugs. We have the heart handle. Then we have the dark, the black with the white patch. So you can do black mugs. Love me a black mug. And then we have the other one, which is just a plain mug without the heart handle. So let me see. It's going to come wrapped up so it can stay protected. So we're going to do these um, five mugs in my oven. Okay, um, I'm gonna also do this blanket today. The blanket, I have done this blanket before. This is the postal, I call it the postal blanket online. So I'm gonna do, put two, I'm gonna press this twice. I'm gonna press this twice. I'm gonna, um, I actually did the collage. I read the collage of pictures where they're gonna fit like right here and right here. So it's gonna be two sets, I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna put the put it on twice on this on this blanket. So I'm gonna do that le later. But right now, I want to show you guys how I I'm gonna wrap these mugs. So I'm gonna use a tape method because um, I have some shrink wrap, and shrink wrap might work, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm just gonna do it the tape method. So I did my design, I cut them out already. So I'm just gonna wrap it around. And everybody asks me like, how do you uh, do a template or do you have a template? Truth be told, I get my templates um, offline. Like well, I to get one and then I adjust it based on my the size of my image. This one is too long. So, it's like not perfect math. I don't know. I do it. I don't pay for them. I actually get a shape and then I adjust it. And I might be doing the hard way. So, it might be some people out there like, oh, no, you need to buy it or whatever. But I don't. I don't buy mine. I just make it work. Like now, I'm just gotta cut it and adjust it to work with my um with my image. So if you wanna pay for it and you can because people is out there making money off of uh, templates because they didn't they didn't did the work and measured it and stuff, but you could save yourself some money by creating your own template and I just um I just measure it oh uh, it, it take is here's my measuring tape what I do you know when stuff is not it's not it's tapered like this the truth is I always go around the top which it tells me is six inches and the bottom is bottom is it's like five inches so when I did my template I don't have the raw no more because I cut it but if you the top is about six inches <laughs> I'm just shaping it now but it's about six inches and the bottom is about five inches so it's a it's not a perfect science but this is just the way I do it because I don't, um, I do design my own things. So I just measure it. I don't, and I don't sell them because one, I feel like it's not, they not perfect and I have to constantly adjust mine.
So because my oven is small, I'm just going to try to put in as many as I can. Boom. I think. So I'm going to see how this works. I'm going to try to do as many as I can. So these two is done. So they're going to be done like over there. But the truth is I got to heat up my oven. It's not heated up yet. Here's my black mug. And, and I think I measured this right. So now, I think I am going to use, for these, I think I am going to do the, um, the, um, so I won't have to wrap it. <sighs> I'm not, I'm going to go ahead on and use the uh, shrink wrap for this because it's simpler and I don't have to use up all my tape because at the end of the day, I'm cheap and I want to spend a whole lot of money on something. But I do have other things that I want to show you guys tonight that we also have in stock. So, these are some more things we have in stock that just came in this week and I should have them posted online. Which is the rhinestone dog tags. The rhinestone dog tags, which with a chain so we got gold and silver I don't know if you guys can see that gold and silver and we got I call it the dripping heart uh -huh. and the reason why I call it because it looks like it's falling off the chain it's so cold I like that the falling heart or something anyway what y'all think I should name it Falling Hearts. And we got them also in gold and silver. And anybody who know when it comes down to something, like you must take off the plastic off of it. So we're going to do it on eight minutes. We're going to try to get as many in here as possible. See how that crumbled up, y'all? That's what I'm saying. So we're going to just put the shot glasses in here and the mugs and the one mug let's move that back i never can find my gloves either these are done so i'm gonna pull them out i have a, a rag that i use to pull stuff out so i normally put it in a cup of water to cool it off And that give me enough time to um, be able to deal with it. And I don't know if you can hear it sizzle, but it's sizzling. But since this oven is still hot, I'm going to throw this in here. And as you can see, these, uh, this is crumbling up because it's still hot. So I'm not going to wait for this to cool down so we're gonna say bake i can't stand this thing start it might not be quite at 400 but it's almost there and as you can see i don't know if you can see but um the shrink wrap shrinks up i don't really use that um the um 
I don't really use the um the thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now I'm thinking about my design. Okay. So I'm unwrapping it right now. I mean, oh, let me get it where you guys can see. So it's in the water, and I just put the water to cool down. So this one is kind of light because I I chose like light colors show you guys what it say in a minute this is the one that was wrapped up already when you when I originally showed you this the frosted one I don't know why my crazy self used yellow to design on a nearly transparent cup so it didn't come out as pretty as I hoped it to oh, I'm so sorry this this tape that's why I don't like doing the tape method it just So, it say, um, you're not going to be able to see it because it's so light, but this is the, um, this is the um, frosted one. It was wrapped up already before I started, so it just say, drink slow, sip some more, some more, and then it got lip, a lip stain, and then it say Judy, but it's so light. You can't see it because I chose to use yellow. I could have used another color, but of course I didn't because I be trying to do too much. So let's unwrap the next one, which this the one was the Valentine's one that I put for me and Sam. And this is the clear one. So we'll see how it came out. And just bear with me because it's taped up again. in the background. Milo. Okay. Probably want to go outside, but I don't got time for that right now. That's why he only hang around me when it's time to eat and go outside. Any other time, he manage business and leave me alone. Okay, so it's tape. So guys, just bear with me while I try to maneuver this tape off. I think I put too much heat on it. It looked like I cracked it. We're going to do it for lo lower temperature. So, this is my first time doing shot glasses. So, I'm thinking that 400 is too strong for it. Let me just show you guys though how it came out. But I would do it less than 400 because I'm going to do it again. Do another one. But that one, it looked like it cracked up some more. I don't know if you guys can see it. But... It's no harm, no fail. Um, I don't know. We're going to try it for a lower temperature. Still got tape all over it. So let's do the mug. Let's take the mug apart. So this is the one, the Kamala Harris one. And it's looking beautiful so far. I took off a portion of it. one. I just used the shrink wrap because I didn't feel like all that um, taping. And then I don't have a silicone wrap, which I should be getting some soon and put them up for sale. Um, but right now I don't, so I just use the shrink wrap. So this is the this is the um, hard handle mug. And the, the reason why I put it in the water, it cools it off so I can just immediately work with it. Because it's in the water, it cools off and then stop the sublimation process. So, this is it. This is this one. Let me know what you guys think. Hot like here is. I think that is just so cool. I'm selling them for... 
six dollars a piece. The sublimation mugs are six dollars. These are gonna go for a uh, dollar ninety-nine, two dollars each. The sublimation uh, glasses, and as you can see, they do sublimate. you guys think these are the black mugs and, and i know you guys your creative creative ones is going to do such an awesome job on these these uh mugs so i cannot wait to see what you guys come up with and these are the three styles we have so i wanted to do one in each style which is the regular handle ones the normal ones the regular ones Then we have the black ones with the white patch. And then we have the heart ones. So what happened, I'm really short on a lot of them because they end up coming and it was broke. So I'm kind of sad about that. I am going to get a refund and get credited and everything for um, them being broke. But it's kind of sad because I really, really wanted them. So, um... I just gotta wait. I gotta wait now. It's gonna be a while before they reship me out some more. So I have a very limited number. So um, if I sell out and you haven't got yours, be patient with me. More is coming. But they are um, six dollars a piece. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna do six dollars for all of them a piece. So six, six, six. So if you want all three of them, they are available right now. Let me know what you think. Do this one first, which is gonna go right here. And then this one's gonna go right down here. So that's gonna cover up the, the just of the blanket. That's my, that was my uh, mail when I decided to do it. I was like, well, I wanted to, let me see. And what I did was did like a fade effect so it won't look so sharp. So I don't know if you could tell, but the edges, it's not sharp. So it looks like it's fading into the blanket. Let's make sure I'm centered based on my calculations. Let me get some, move this a little bit so I can get some butcher paper. And those who want to know, I do use a wide printer. So it's not a certain paper size. I just based it on what size my, I think I did this um, 15 by 20 because I know my press was 16 by 24 or whatever. So that's how I did it, the image. So it could fit my press perfectly. So that's my that's my uh, calculations. So let's do this. So that is done. So I know it looks good. It do look good, people. So the next thing is the other half. What I'm gonna do is flip it though, cause I don't want all that. It look really nice. She gonna be so happy. Cause all she was bugging me for is a, a blanket. And I was taking forever getting it done. It could have been centered better. Okay, I can always get more pictures in and make it work, but what I <music> see the final look of this blanket. I'm gonna move you guys over a little bit just so you can see. Oh, this is in the garbage. Let's, let's 
I'll let you guys see. I'm going to move it over like this so I can pull it off and then hold it up. So, this is fresh off the, fresh off the press. So, is it, is it clicking? Okay. So, this is just free design. Um, what I might do is just add some more pictures along the sides. Just to give to uh take up the white space but this is the, the this is the blanket let me see if i could go back a little bit so you guys can see the full blanket it's a little crooked though you know i can always